what's up everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl imani thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe if you fall in love with this look the way i did but we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into this video so i'm not even gonna lie to you guys for so long i felt like full face glams were out i don't know who came in and was like soft glams is it that's all we're doing we're not doing color no more like where is all the color at now don't get me wrong i love the girlies who know how to do the graphic liners love the girlies that do the extras when it comes to doing their makeup tutorials and all the shorts and stuff like that but i feel like what happened to the era of girls who just did the colorful cut creases halo eyes and just added like over three or four different colors where's my long form girlies at like when i tell you i was just like i have to do something so this is my day one of trying to bring fun full face glams back to youtube i'm talking like all the colors and the cut creases because i don't know who said that cut creases are out or who said those birthday glams or all the glitter glams are out whoever said that needs to go talk to somebody because the girlies were really in their bag with that so my thing now is to get back into that because i miss it i miss the creativity i miss just putting forth all the effort in that but i'm going to show you guys what i'm using so this is violet voss and if i'm not mistaken this is like the olive olive palette if i'm not mistaken i uh, don't quote me right now because i'm not even looking down at anything i'm not even at my uh, glam table to tell you guys what i'm using um but i just wanted to go for you know a bold cut crease again and you know a dramatic liner i feel like that hasn't been done in so long with these looks so i felt like you know what why not um and as you guys can see i did something i haven't done in a while which was do my brows before my makeup and honestly i fell in love with them because i was like you know what i want my brows to match my hair i don't want it to just be some black brown. no no no, no. we gonna do it up this video so honestly all i'm doing is i took a reddish brown that was in there and i used it as my transition and then i went in there with a regular dark brown and i add that into my crease and dispersed it outwards towards that reddish brown that i'm using and now i'm going to use that black that's in there and i really just want to do that to deepen my crease so as you guys know i have my own cosmetics line timeless beauty so i will be using my own concealers and foundations as far as my base makeup goes but as far as my eyes go yeah no we're gonna be using those palettes until or other palettes until i get my palette out there but as of right now i'm actually using if i'm not mistaken this is the shade 30 to cut my crease and i wasn't even trying to go in and be perfect i just knew i didn't want a full cut crease so i kind of did like semi of my eye uh, the majority of my eye with this, this cut crease kind of like how you know you look at um betty boop or jessica rabbit or who was another one um oh my gosh the girl who plays if y'all know who i'm talking about she's the lady in the red gown with the purple gloves and the purple eyeshadow i can't think of her name to save my life but her so that's what i was kind of going for with this look as far as the dramatics go and where i placed my cut crease so that's what we're doing we're just going to carve it out i'm using a flat head brush to do so and like i said i'm using my concealers to do it as well i don't know about you guys too but when i'm doing this i normally have one crease that's like or cut crease that's bigger than the other so i was going back and forth trying to make sure like it was as even as possible so that's what i was doing and then i did not set it i actually went back into the olive palette after i pressed all that concealer down on my eye and i saw these nice like orangey shimmer shades too it was like a, a champagne orange and then it was like a red blood orange looking one in there they were really really pretty but i'm just gonna go ahead and spray my brush with a setting spray and i'm gonna go in with the colors that was me choosing right there so i'm gonna go in with that one on the middle of my eye and just like look at that pigment baby baby she eats she's eating the plate oh my gosh she's eating everything like it just it came out so beautiful and then like i said on the outer corners of that crease i'm going to use that darker orange shade and i think on the inner corners of my eyes i just used that white looking shimmer shade or that champagne looking shimmer shade in there too um but you guys will see that once i get there let me know too guys if you guys miss these kind of videos if you miss these regular sit down 
regular makeup tutorials not even to get ready with me because I'm not gonna lie to you I did not go anywhere I did my makeup and I sat down and I just enjoyed every bit of it when I tell you I was just like in my art bag I didn't really care about what colors I was using I just grabbed a palette and whatever was in that palette I was just going to create with so if you like these type of videos or you want to see these videos more on my channel or just in general let me know down in the comments down below because I definitely miss the 2016 to like 2018 era of like makeup tutorials I even say give or take COVID because when COVID came in all the girlies could do was just sit down and create but like I said sound off in the comments down below if you miss these type of videos let me know but I'm going to go in with the Maybelline black, like I think it's like ink gel liner that they have. And I'm going to go ahead and create like a dramatic angled wing, but not really a wing. It's like a half wing because then I'm going to diffuse it out with some black eyeshadow. And I'm also going to diffuse it on the outer corners of my eye to make sure that this liner blends seamlessly with the shadow because I don't want it to just look like it just stopped. I want it to like mesh together. Oh, another thing that I could say I had fun with, with with creating this look is just it gave me a sense of nostalgia like it made me remember why I love doing makeup it made me feel like you know when we used to get on YouTube and look for like the next crazy like I look to do where it was like full cut creases half cut creases where it was the jumbo lashes which I'm still not gonna do that again that was a phase but we, we got that phase but the jumbo lashes all of that I just just in love with this whole tutorial um i grabbed my paint pot because i wanted to add some color to this look like a splash of color and it was going to be a pink but i just did not like the way that it was coming off on top of my um liner and then i had remember girl you got colored liners in there why don't you just go use that so i grabbed a pink one and it kind of gave a little bit but i was like you know i'm looking for something with a little bit more pigment that was like a pastel pink i wanted like a hot pink so i actually went in to one of my palettes i think it was like a, a morphe palette and um i used like this magenta shade that was in there and i just placed it over the liner to give it like a more darker hue because that ink pen or liner pen was just not giving me what I needed for this look oh by the way y'all like my hair y'all like my hair it's super cute right super cute my husband said it's giving Shaka Khan but he likes it like honestly it made me feel like you know Beyonce obsessed movie vibes like it really made me feel like you came into my house you touched my child you think you crazy i'll show you crazy try me like that that's what it made me feel like i was like oh girl yeah it just oh good get the f out my house like that's what i felt like while i was creating this look uh that hair was just like so so cute so if you liked it don't forget to check out my next video because it'll be all about the hair because the hair is giving now i'm going into my timeless beauty bag because you know that's like you know my girl because you know something great so I'm going in and this is shade 30 and then I'm going to go in with shade 31 just so I can marry these shades together on my face once I go to blending out with my brush. And this is after I set my face with a natural setting spray as well. Y'all, oh. I don't know why I didn't say nothing because I almost forgot. So when I put my primer on my face after doing my eyeshadow, I forgot all about fallout from the eyeshadow. So when I rubbed it in, I was like, oh no, I look like a zebra. All that black stuff from the eyeshadow had failed. But I was like, okay, let me let me let me see something. Cause you know sometimes when you go to put a concealer on on top of black eyeshadow or dark eyeshadow in general, it meshes with the daggone concealer. So then it ends up just being muddy. I wanted to see if my concealer can stay in the time. Like, could you stay in the rain like Missy Elliott said and like cover up this black eyeshadow? And baby, baby, she came from my neck and she was like, girl, you don't know who I am? And I was like, oh, my bad. Do y'all be going sis? Like, y'all, none of that black came through. None of it like blended into my makeup. I was like, oh, okay, full coverage. Cause like I said, it's full coverage. So, um, that's all I'm doing now is I'm blending my concealer out and I am, um, 
gonna go at an angle because i wanted a lifted look for this i do believe my camera died at some point which annoyed me because i'm trying to find a camera or a battery now for my camera that has longevity because how the heck you a 4k camera but then when i record in 4k you'd be like girl you draining me girl today drain me girl forget you record my video so um you're gonna see me come back to the video because yeah yeah she she tried me but after i get this on there y'all know I, like i said i like to go in immediately afterwards with my setting powders and yes this is my setting powders this is from timeless beauty and i will be setting my concealer i also went in with a liquid blush because i wanted to see how it would marry together with my concealer as well so that's what i'm gonna do So, like I always say, guys, remember when you are going to apply your setting powder too, um, be sure to tap that excess off if you're using a brush. And if you're using a triangle puff, please like put it on the back of your hand and then like get the excess off and you know then apply it that way it looks smooth um like i said my camera cut out because my battery got drained and i couldn't show you guys but i'm showing you guys on this side now so be sure to take that and really like press it in in those areas that you know you need to set So now that we got that on, I'm going to go in with a shade 32 and I'm going to use this to bronze my skin. And I love, 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 love this. Believe it or not, this is actually a foundation. Some people like to use foundation sticks and stuff. Um, but so far that I've seen with my products itself from concealers or foundations, both of them work amazingly when it comes to carving or chiseling out the face it's just uh delicious like i cannot wait for you guys to try out these products when i tell you i'm in love everything about these you don't like i said you don't have to worry about oxidation so i know i've seen a lot of people mention that they hate when they get a product and it oxidizes on their skin girl me too so that's why i made sure with the formula of this that you have minimal oxidation or minimal to none really because i like my stuff to be true to color but you see that subtle subtle and gorgeous now those cheekbones are lifted handy lifted um then i do believe that my camera went out again girl it was a tussle with this one thing so i'm gonna come back and i am gonna put my skin tone foundation so like my actual shade on my skin up under the uh where i put the bronzer shade for me i am gonna put that on my cheeks as well but right now what i'm doing is i'm redefining my nose because i didn't want my nose to get lost in this makeup as well Oh my gosh, believe it or not, too, I used to be scared of blush. I used to think if you put too much blush on, you was going to look crazy. But baby, if you find the right one for your skin tone, when you put it on, you're going to be looking like, I need more. I need more. More blush. More blush, please. So that's how I've been feeling lately with blush. So that's why I was like, let me put this on because I want to give Doll Baby, too. Like, I feel like one of the original members of Destiny's Child right now. Like, I just feel like, oh, I feel like that girl with this hair and this makeup. I miss doing full face glams so 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 bad so bad so bad so that's why I'm gonna bring it back because I feel like they were fun and why the freak not but what I'm gonna do now too is I'm gonna go ahead and line my lip with a dark liner and then I'm gonna go in with one of my lippies yes one of my lippies this one is like a dude pink but it leans more to the pink side it is so super duper 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 cute this one is kind of like a top coat so like if you were to put on like your liner your lipstick and then a gloss this one has a shine effect to it, but it's not as glossy. It's more of like that top coat, but if you want that nice pouty gloss, then I will go on with like a clear gloss over it. But it's so nice and it's not sticky. It's not runny. It's like really perfect. Like, look at this. This is super, super cute. 
Um, also, too, if you want these to be scented, let me know, guys. Like, let me know if you like your lip gloss to have a scent to it, like you like that candy lip smell, or if you like, you know, yours to not have a scent because it's just a headache. Let me know down in the comments below what you like to see. But as I finish up my makeup look guys i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in be sure be sure to tune in and subscribe if you're watching this video because the next few videos over the next few months will be full face glam videos because i'm tired of the boring soft glam looks and i know you guys are too we need more of what the ogs were doing back in the day even though back in the day we feel like seven years ago but that's a long time so let's give the people what they want you know let's give them some more full face glam so if you're watching this like i said don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know down in the comments below what looks you want to see more of if you want to see more cut creases halo creases whatever you want to see more graphic looks if you want to see more colorful looks if you have colors in mind drop them down in the comments down below for your girl because i want to do them but like i said i want to make sure you guys are getting everything that you desire and i want to make sure that i'm bringing back the fun looks but thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do love and appreciate every single last one of you. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video because you're not going to want to miss it. So like I said, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.